All right, boys, welcome back to the channel. Let's do this. Let's go up to the big guy. Did not mean to hit that. Okay. Oh, they use the same freaking ammo. Where'd the bitch go? Come here. Okay, that's gonna be way too slow. Got you. Yep, 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 yep. I got them all. Okay, apparently not. Got him. Yes! Locked out. Disengaged. What the hell? Do not be alarmed by the system update. It is a prototype of our interdimensional tether. A means for me to pull you back from hell. I'm sorry for the... jolt. But I didn't think you'd allow its installation voluntarily. I'm Dr. Samuel Hayden. I have supplies in my office. This way, please. Great, so now I'm your puppet? That tells me that if I try to run or anything, you're just gonna freaking kill me. Or pull me back. Great. All right. Well, we'll see how this turns out. Welcome, Doctor Hayden. Take whatever supplies you need. What the hell is that thing? Is that a tower? What the hell is that? The destruction of the Argent Tower is That's cool. devastating, but I am committed to helping you close the portal. All of our work and understanding of their world is derived from the inscriptions on a large stone artifact we pulled from hell in the earliest days of the program. We call it the Helix Stone. It is our most closely guarded asset. Olivia was obsessed with it. From it, we learned how to manipulate Hell's energy, bend it to our will, take advantage. 
percentage of their resources. It also led us to you. The Helix Stone showed us how to harness the power of the well. I believe it will show you how to shut it down. For years, Olivia has kept the Helix in her private office in the Lazarus Labs, which is only accessible through a secure elevator from the advanced research complex across the chasm. Your affinity for guns is apparent. I'm confident you'll find something useful there as well. The service elevator is at the end of the hall. I like how he just waves me off. Alright, might as well top off. Alright, let's go boys. Okay. Oh, okay. Why do I feel like, you know, dealing with him is not going to end well? Samuel Hayden. After his rebirth, Samuel was appointed as project man director. Project director of the Argent facility. It was deemed too bizarre to have the world's first cyborg leading the most powerful corporation in the solar system. Mechanoid Samuel Hayden proved to be an even more impressive figure than his mortal self. Under his leadership, Argent technology exploded. Work achieved at the Argent facility destroyed the boundaries of our understanding of physics. As Samuel himself said, we rewrote the book and called it Argent. After the unveiling of the global energy distribution matrix, it was clear who was really in control of the UAC. Tim Hayden's triumphant return to power was complete, and a stunning display of bravado and conceit. And conceit when the GEDM, uh, global energy, okay, when the matrix was finally switched on, Samuel Hayden was live streamed from, live streamed from in front of the Argent Tower, pulling a massive 12 foot. 12 foot power lever to dispatch the first Argent package to Earth. Oh, okay, okay, okay. This sent a clear message to the people of the unknown solar system. There's only one man that can turn on the power. Okay. Yeah, so, like, I, it's precisely what I thought. He's just there again as hell. Hey. Sorry, buddy. You ain't using it. Mine now. Okay, so from what I understand correctly, I, we have to get across the chasm in order to get to the advanced facility, in order to get to the elevator, in order to get to her office. Right? Okay. Alright, boys. Let's do this. Down the gullet. So cool. Oh, that's the top of his head. Oh, oh, shit. I didn't mean to put that. Okay, that was a misclick. Okay, that was badass. Okay. All 
are, boys. Or oh, security field. I almost just jumped. Nice. Alright. Fifth Weapons Division. BFG Labs. What the fuck is that? Okay. Um Oh, that works. Nice. Yeah, you didn't like that, did ya? Did ya? Holy shit. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Demonic presence eliminated. Lockdown disengaged. The ARC is the birthplace of several virtual fields, including BFG development, teleportation research, and cybernetic. What the fuck is BFG? Okay, so. Which way did I fucking come out of? It's a bunch of stuff. Oh, hey. BFG 9000. Wait, is that a fucking weapon? What the fuck is this? What? Uh, there's three coded entries? Field, oh, two from field drones. Advocates, witness BFG 9000. What greater time for the glory of the Ascension could be there be an entirely new weapon, type of weapon, born not only of traditional UAC technology, but the faith, dedication of the cause. This is what we strive for. Understanding beyond traditional science, understanding by the repressive thinking of dimensionally bound contemplation. What the fuck? With their use of SEFT, can the power of such a mighty weapon be realized? Which requires not only science, but belief. The fuck is that thing? Big fucking gun. Wait, BF... Does BFG stand for Big Fucking Gun? I swear to God, if that stands for Big Fucking Gun, I'm gonna be kind of... I mean, I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of funny. That's dumb as fuck at the same time. Decoded entry. The theoretical design for the BFG 9000 was first put forward by the R&D Department of the Advanced Research Complex, and the concept was later given its own funding program. The division was formed to develop a working design. Several prototype weapons have since been made. Prototypes never went into full production due to the numerous testing accidents. Ugh, excuse me, the deadly radiation spikes produced. Previous versions of the weapon had slightly different energy patterns than the current generation. Uh, some released solitary argent spheres that unleashed a deadly wave upon impact. Others formed an argent laser that cuts through anything in its path. The current prototype BFD 9000 creates argent streams that seek out targets and bowls them alive. What the fuck? Chain gun. Wait, I have another coded entry with the chain gun. Oh, for that Gatling rotator. Okay. Alright, so... Oh, did I need him for... Oh, I needed his retinal scan. <laughs> Hello, Dr. Peters. Biometric mismatch detected. Scanning. Unauthorized personnel confirmed. Expulsion to commence in five, four, three, two, one. Oh, I'm so glad I jumped on this. Activating laser security system. Wait, what? Oh, Jesus Christ. Go 
okay. So I, I was, I was, I was almost there. I was, I was almost there. Almost. Almost there. What the fuck? Why was it so slow last time? But that time it just came crashing down. What the fuck? Oh shit. Activating laser security system. Okay, I'm gonna take out those two and then I'm gonna jump in. Activating laser security system. Holy crap, this thing's huge. BFG. When correctly charged, ionized and compressed, deadly packets of Argent energy can be released in a controlled manner, velocity and potential energy quota for exceeding, far exceeding conventional weapons. The realization of Argent energy led to the development and mass production of the plasma rifle, but the UAC realized they were capable of much more. The BFG 9000 is the culmination of those efforts. Only one prototype of the final weapon exists. And it's housed deep within the arc in the PFG division. This weapon delivers streams of supercharged ardent energy to multiple targets, and it and it is to some extent self-guiding. Oh, uh, self-guiding. The streams will seek and, ca and cash seek any cache of ardent argent it can find, usually demons or human test subjects that have had argent beacons surgically implanted. Oh wow, that's fucked. When the streams find their target, they release all of their stored energy in a fraction of a second, delivering an electrical shock that instantly boils the blood and lymphatic tissue of the recipient. A spontaneous explosion on the subject often follows. Holy crap! Weapon of, with massive power that is ac accessed by pressing T. Use it to devastate your enemies. Well, alright then. Holy shit. Well, all right then, boys. Holy shit. What the hell? That is amazing and terrifying at the same time. These fuckers were just developing this weapon. Holy crap. This is... That, that was fucking awesome, though. Like, come on, let's be real. That was fucking awesome. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Bye.